Wow. It, it's not recording, is it? Yes. No, we're not going to use that. Wow. We're not going to use any of that. So that just shut was, up. That was. I'm wearing a corset. Leave me bear. alone. Uh, we're not going to use that. We're yep. using that. Ha, uh, hi, hello, welcome hi. to another Novimpia treat. Are you done burping? Direct from us to your eyes and ear holes and nose. Stop it! Stop that! <laughs> that was that stupid laugh again. There, she's oh, wow. she's reared her ugly head. Today we're going to be talking about leg leg rendry bird. Um, yes, we would like to provide you with an update and a little bit of background information. Basically, um, for those of you who are not aware, we have a Patreon, which is a great little platform. It's a little bit like, I always think of it as a bit like how back in the day you could kind of sign up to like, the official fan clubs of like your favourite artist and you'd like send off like a monthly subscription and you'd get like... Magazines or and emails stickers, and stuff. Yeah. Shit like that. So it's a bit like the modern day equivalent of that. And if you subscribe any amount that you want, you can get like little bonuses from us and exclusive goodies. Anyway, on our Patreon account we have had a goal set for a while yes where we have said i can't remember, was it 150 250 patrons when we hit 250 patrons we committed to recreating um a song an original song that we recorded and uploaded a very long time ago along with a music video in fact it was our very very first video on this channel. So that this is the, the background. So when we first decided to dress like ladies and become sort of like internet, like friends, we did a video and a song. It was called Legendary Creature. Mm. And it has become something of, within the cult, a, you know, horrendous joke <laughs> because of how atrocious it was. So I personally think in terms of like the, the melody, like in terms of the song, yeah, it was so horribly produced. Thank you very much, Nova. And the vocals are dreadful. Everything about it is dreadful. The video was... This this was a of shit. done <clears throat> back in 2012, is that right? Something like that. No, maybe 2013. And um, we recorded it in our bedroom, in our flat, on a USB microphone. I edited ah. the vocals using Audacity, which is a free editing software. And the music video was shot on a digital camera. Digital which camera. Had which had a video option. Two pixels. And I don't even know what kind of um, resolution the video option was, but um, it had an autofocus, which you couldn't change. So half of the footage was out of focus. And we recorded <laughs> it in one day in my father's hairdressing salon, which we closed for the day. We put up this green screen, actually, we put up and then just shot it with like no lights. So bad. Um, using this crappy camera. So we just wanted to have a song. We wanted to record a song. We were trying to think about what to make it about. And I was like, let's make it about like legendary mytho mythological creatures. And we can make it all sort of like puns and it can be sort of like, you know, whatever, some dog shit. So we wrote it entirely ourselves. Um, <laughs> it was produced by somebody who now has just vanished off the face of the earth. We always kind of liked the song, as dog shit as it was, I, it was catchy, it's I think it fun. had a lot of potential. I loved performing it, like it was a really fun song to perform, yeah. apart from the rap, which I, my, the rap was mine and it was really fast, so performing that live was always a bit of a nightmare in a corset. But I just thought it was a really fun song. I think a lot of people really liked it, just because for its like camp value, like it was so stupid. But we decided, yes, with on Patreon, uh, Patreon you have goals for certain amounts of patrons that you get in. And because we hit the 250 patron mark, uh, yes, we said we would remake Legendary Creature, reproduce it, re-record a video, and really kind of like polish it up. So now we have got there. We have started to put the wheels into motion for this. And um, that's two phrases put together. Wheels Wasn't rolling like, and plants into motion. Motion, stupid, yeah, still makes sense, still makes sense. So, coming up th later on this month, we have actually booked some studio time with a professional producer who is going to recreate this song for us from scratch and record our vocals and mix it professionally. So we have something a bit more polished to present to you guys. And as a little thank you to our patrons, when this all does eventually happen, um, we're gonna be offering all of you a free download of the song. Um, and maybe like, I, I might put together like a little like 
single pack maybe with the instrumental and stuff because it's gonna go oh. on itunes we're gonna put it on itunes and streaming services the single we could do that we could like i don't know give some, some giveaways or some shit with the single yeah. you know we had some studio time but but we couldn't find the killer hook you made this joke now we've gone and raised the bar right up Nothing she writes is ever good enough. These words are my own. I also really want to experiment with making um, some physical copies of the single because I used to think that was so cool. Like when a um, new up and coming like artist would just like give you their CD or like sign their CD. And we can put the like dance that. moves in the pamphlet. <laughs> there were dance moves. I feel like there's one video of the dance moves. Do you remember it? Anyway, um, I'll give you my voice. How did it go? I can't give remember. you my voice. If you search for the song on our channel, there's a few old videos of us doing this live. But um, the old video um, is no longer on there. We might make it um, viewable on Patreon, but that's no longer on there. And we wanted to just briefly touch on that as well. But for the new video, I haven't got a date in mind for that, but we really want to make it something special. So we're probably going to take our time with it. And I know you guys are all rolling your eyes thinking like, oh Christ, it's never going to happen. But Compared to last time when we did it in a day and it was entirely green screen, yes. I actually want to create some really, as, as, as camp and as naff as this song is, I want to give you like some of our best looks. I want to make looks, especially well, for the video. Well, uh, certainly and... because the last time when we did this, we had like two outfits, just in yeah. general anyway, and I, they were terrible. I feel like our editing skills have come on so far since then. And I think we could really make something quite cool. I really now. want to get a um, drone. What for? For some overhead shots. Yeah, but like, where? Of what? Of us, you know, in a forest being a legendary creature. I would also like to try and attempt some choreography, but I know you don't want to do that. No, we're not doing that. Just, just a little bit. Something. How ridiculous is it me, with me doing choreography? I hate doing choreography. Yeah, I look if like it's such like, a cunt. If it's like Here's the thing. Okay, so in the original video, I wore... Oh, yeah a Native American war bonnet, which I had constructed for a, um, it was like a uni summer ball. Like I was just freshly out of being a student, absolute cunt, didn't know what I was doing with my life or anything. And I was just like, so, I was a pretty horrible person, but that's not the end or there. But um, yeah, I constructed this without a, a single thought as to how offensive it is to wear a, a Native American war bonnet, should you not be Native American. And um, I thought I'd wear it in the video. And looking back, this is why we've taken it off the channel, because I appreciate that it is really offensive, and I apologise for wearing that in the first place. Um, so that's kind of why it's not there anymore, and I now appreciate that it is gross. Um, so I shan't be wearing anything appropriative. Also, like, it just... In the new one. It was quite a eye-catching piece for the video and had no relevance Nothing, to the video like what has that got to do with anything i wore a union jack dress what has that got to do with anything i mean it was just horrendous so we are gonna you know maybe make it look a little bit better but if you are a patron of ours we're gonna try our very best to kind of like document our journey with this song and this video like the making of if you like and we're gonna constantly post updates for our patrons because it's the re the reason why we've been able to do this is because of you guys so keep an eye out on patreon for that um so thank you to everyone who is a patron of ours who helped us reach this goal so we we now have to fucking do it. Thanks a lot. Thanks a bunch. When the video is completed, obviously it'll be up on our YouTube for everybody to see. Um, I feel like as much as I would love to like save the song and release it with the video, I might be tempted to put the song out first and then the video. I don't know. We'll have a little talk. Maybe about we that. could. Maybe we'll do a lyric video. Might Maybe be nice. Maybe a lyric video. That's not bad. Um, I am going to rewrite the rap. How much of it I'm going to rewrite? I don't know because yeah, we're going to rewrite. A the rap is obviously iconic. At this point, people understand it's iconic. However. It doesn't make sense. A lot of it does not make sense. Uh, there's a bit at the end where I say, Shantae, we stay. I mean, at the time, we were, we were on, like, season three of Drag Race or four. Four. It seemed more kind of, like, gritty then. Now it's just, like, so lame. Yeah. I'm going to get cut that out um, and, you know, change around some stuff. So we'll, we'll see what happens, really. And if this all goes well and you guys like it, then maybe we'll do more. No. I would love to maybe do more. But we'll see what happens with this. <laughs> We're also going to have to talk about my solo single, sorry, um, Hot Tonight, which they know about, some of them know about. Feeling hot tonight, I'm feeling hot tonight, I know my tits look right, I'm feeling hot tonight, feeling hot tonight. People know about that. Right. People have heard about Hot Tonight, my debut solo single, because I'm like the CL. 
Well, never really. And you've seen got the fucked ever. up face of Park Baum. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, 21 jokes. I understand K pop. So anyway, that's, that's what's happening now with we our channel. We just wanted to give you like a little update because this is like our next big project. We're musicians, apparently. Apparently. So that's yes. what's going to happen. You're going to have to listen to it. And, you know, get it on iTunes. Available on iTunes. It will be, which is really kind of exciting. I think it's exciting. Yeah. It's going to be shit. We have some studio time booked with a guy who um, we uh, edited, we shot and edited some music videos for a good friend of ours. And he is a musician. He's very good. And we said to him, can we... Uh, maybe get some names from you. Do you know anyone who we can sort of record this with? Because bearing in mind, it will be crap. But we made it very clear, like, it's going to be dog shit, like, pop. So he put K-pop us music. in uh, contact with his producer, who lives like, sort of an hour or so away. And, um, yeah, we, we, we're hoping to be able to sort of get the majority of it done in one afternoon. But we're going to be doing that in a couple of weeks. So, you know, patron behind the scenes stuff, we'll have yeah. to do that. And, um, yeah, we'll see what happens. Quite excited about it, though. Are you? No. Yeah, I really am. I can't wait. No. I, I, I just don't I can't wait to have the video all done. And I'm not doing choreo for it. Just a little bit. No. Just, just fuck off. We will get a petty choreography. Give you my voice. I'll, I'll do a little bit. I'll do some handography. Yeah. All right. Okay, guys. Well, that's where we are with with the channel at the moment with our video. Thank you for coming. If you've not subscribed, then. You should because you know you'll get notifications. <laughs> you've, got, for... you've got some some good shit coming to you over, over the horizon. Bird. <sighs> right. The, the bird, word bird isn't even in it, is it? I don't know. Um, and you know, find our social media downstairs in the in that box under the video. You can tweet us and say, please don't make that song again. Don't remake it for the love of God. Okay. Thanks, Ben. Okay. Cheap. Then. Great. Bye. 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 And a huge below to our newest patrons, David Lopez and Devin Lee McDowell. Welcome, guys. To join the team, visit patreon.com slash novimbia.